What's up everybody? This is gonna be grade six module four lesson 28 problem set. Make sure you try and do the problems on your own first then check with this or my life would up. All right, so for lesson 28, there are only five questions, but they are um, deep problems with a few different steps. So take your time um, to read them, try and solve them, and then just check with this. I'm gonna go ahead and skip through um, some of the reading and go straight into the problem solving. So as you can see, there's lots of information and it really is a lot easier if you just go one step at a time and you write things down. So right now they gave us Dwayne scored 50 points. So Dwayne is 55 points. But then down here, they decided to say, let D represent the number of points Dwayne scored during his previous personal best, whatever. So I did DPB for that. And since it was 10 points more than his previous personal best, that means his personal best was 10 points less than his current score. So it's 45. So I wrote those down just to kind of give me some clarity, and then I moved on. LeBron scored 15 more points than Chris. So I wrote this equation. LeBron is going to be whatever Chris is plus 15, right? Because LeBron's going to be 15 greater than Chris. So uh, then it gave me more information and said that LeBron scored the same number of points as Dwayne's previous personal best, which I already found out was 45. So LeBron equals 45. So then it wants to know how many points Chris scored. Well, if LeBron scored 45, I can plug that into this equation. And so that's what I did. I said that 45 equals Chris plus 15. And now all I have to do is find C, right? So C, and of course, I think maybe this is what they were expecting me to use for D, like D equals, but you know, I have LeBron here. And I'm assuming this is Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, and Chris Bosh. Uh, so whoever wrote this is a fan of New York basketball. Uh, not New York basketball, Miami basketball, but they're in New York. That's what's weird about it. Anyway, so C plus 15, um, to get rid of the plus 15 on both sides algebraically, you can balance the equation by subtracting 15, which will cancel that out, leaving you C. And 45 minus 15 will be 30. So Chris scored 30 points, which answers question A. Um, and then for question B, I'm just going to add together the 30. Add together the 45, right? So it'd be 30 plus 45 for LeBron plus 55 for Dwayne Wade. They obviously like Dwayne Wade too. Maybe this is taken off of real game. Who knows? Um, and so let's see, 30 and 45 is going to be 75. 75 and 55 is going to be a zero in the ones place. And 7 and 5 was 12, but plus one more is 30. So 130 points. What? What they're the and they're the only three to score in the game. Let me that's just crazy. All right, so I'll let you read and try to work question two and then check with mine. All right, so for the first question, the first question is how many people were there during breakfast? As you read these, these uh, bits of information that lunch there's 120 that dinner was 10 customers fewer at breakfast, and lunch was three times more than breakfast, you can write these equations or these, these things down over here. So lunch equals 120, right? So we know what lunch is. L is 120. And we know that dinner is breakfast minus 10, but we don't know what breakfast is. So we can't solve for this one, right? Because it says dinner is 10 fewer than breakfast. And lunch is three times the amount of breakfast. Now, we know what lunch is. So this is the one we're going to use to help us solve for all the rest of it. And so I'm just going to plug in uh, my information there. Let's change colors here. Yeah. All right. Let's say that 120 equals 3B because I'm just plugging that information in. So I'm just going to divide both sides by 3, and that will cancel that 3 out, leaving me B equals and that's gonna be 40. All right, so breakfast is 40, and that means I can now plug in here and do 40 minus 10, and that's gonna give me dinner equals 30. 
so now I have all the information I need to answer all of the questions it asks. So for the first section, how many people were there during breakfast? 40, right? This one is 40. How many people were there during dinner? 30. Uh, let D represent dinner, B represent breakfast, and we did that. So I think, bada bing, I think if you just work at it one step at a time and, and go into it, then you'll be good. All right, so I'm going to speed this process up for the last ones. Okay, so 24 t-shirts, right? It said that he has eight fewer pairs of shoes than pants, so I could write either of these two, right? Shoes plus eight gives you pants, or shoes equals pants minus eight, and that um, his t-shirts, which is 24, is double his pants, so 2p. So I'm just going to divide these by two to cancel that out. And that gives me P equals 12. So I know he has 12 pants. And so now I'm just going to plug that into here, right, to this equation. And 12 minus 8 is 4. So S equals 4. Pants equaled 12. And T-shirts was 24. And that fits all the rules. Okay, so you can read the next one, but I'm just going to go into my formula. So Daryl, uh, or whoever the guy was, 35. His previous best was eight less than that. So I put DPB is 35 minus eight, which is 27. Uh, Mia ha did six more than Katie. And Mia did the same as his personal best, which was 27, his previous personal best. So now I'm just gonna plug that in and say that 27 equals K plus six. So now I'm gonna subtract six from each of those and say that K equals 21 we know that m equals 27 and that daryl um, was 35 bada bing bada boom all right and the last one don't let all these labels kick you they're all the same thing so you can just think of them all as apples uh, but we've got freestyle is 150 laps per hour breaststroke is um, 20 laps slower than her butterfly and that her freestyle is three times the butterfly. So since we know freestyle, we're going to plug that in and solve and say that 150 equals three butterfly. So now I'm just going to divide both sides by three, which cancels that three out and of course leaves me that butterfly. Okay, so BU equals 50 laps per minute or hour. And so now I can plug that into this equation and do 50 minus 20, which is 30. So BR equals 30 laps per hour. And we already have freestyle. So again, what I did over here is I did the 50 for the BU minus 20, and that got me 30, which answered that question right there.